So how do you deal with rejection using NLP? Well, first of all, let me go into what not to do. What not to do is one, take it personal, right? And then put your attention towards the anger of the assessor or the evaluator. Put your anger and attention on yourself, how you failed. That is not the way to deal with rejection. It's not, okay? Your brain can only process five to nine pieces of information per second out of 11 million bits of information. So when you're looking into that direction, you're actually harming yourself. It's like the second arrow in Buddhism on top of it, which means the rejection itself. And then you hurt yourself even more by the emotions of thinking about it and blaming yourself or blaming others. And there's no solutions here. Okay, so one, what you need to consider is to kind of step out of yourself. We call that as dissociation in NLP. It's almost like you're looking at yourself on a movie screen and you kind of see yourself going through this event of the interview, of the uh, test, of the whatever you needed to do which caused you to be rejected. Uh, see the movie of the, the resume and all those different things. And I want you to consider, well, like one, you got rejected, rejected, meaning somebody else got the slot, the job, the whatever. And what is it that they did that you didn't do? What was in their resume? What was in their factual presentation? How did they talk during the moment, perform in that moment? Were they better? And so that means it's sort of like, what is it that they had and did do that you didn't? And you can sit there saying, yeah, that person that assessed me was stupid. Then you're apparently not smart enough to outsmart someone stupid and somebody else did do that. So what is it? that you need to change, you need to do. And the second thing is, is that what is it that you need to learn? It's actually how can you improve the quality of what you're doing? How can you become better? So you can set some goals on that. So one is how can you uh, do things in the same way as the people who did get the job, did get the slot, and two, how can you improve the quality of your work itself? And so uh, that's my take on it and uh, see you around. By the way, I'm in Mexico. That's why I'm sweating my ass off right now. I'm in Mexico and uh, we offer training here at least once a year. So come check that out or join us on Bali or uh, Miami or Los Angeles or a lot of other places in the world. See you around.